Hello, my friends. Welcome back to Tittle Tattle Tarot. It's Georgie. And on the table today, we have the Curious Creatures deck because we're going to have lots of silly fun with this. This is not serious at all. We're going to look at our March. What's going on for us? It's the 1st of March and what's going to happen to us this month? And we're going to take the Curious Creatures at their word and look at what they tell us we're going to be doing in March. All 12 signs, all nice and quick one card for each sign and um yeah we're gonna crack on and we're gonna see what the future holds for us in march what are all you lovely people gonna be doing and we're gonna kick off with aries lovely aries what are you gonna be doing in march oh there we go oh a bit of flamenco dancing have you ever done that flamenco i think it's called flamenco dancing i reckon you'd be very good at that aries I think you'd be wonderful. Look, with your red shoes and your red dress and your fan. Bit of flamenco. Do they do it where you are? Well, you're going to have to find a class because that's what you're destined to do this March. A little bit of flamenco. I wonder if you'll see Hilary Baldwin there. Do you think she'll be there? She could be, couldn't she? So there we go. Aries. That's you done. Oh, hang on. Everything's flipping over. So now Aries you're the emperor in the in the tarot and the um greater arcana your card is the emperor and you're a fire sign so there you go so whenever the emperor comes up that's you so let's go on to the next one which is Taurus and Taurus you're the hierophant mm. that's your card in the greater arcana Taurus is the hierophant let's have a little look what will you be doing in March oh resting that's not a bad thing resting recuperating i think you've had quite a tough year so far so you're just going to be sleeping a bit more recovering resting look at her in her purple dress purple dressing gown she's got on she's having a nice little snooze there and that's what you need to do in march you need to rest you've worked hard taurus you're a good old earth sign aren't you good old earth sign and yes you just need to to put your head down for 40 winks every now and again, and, and you'll be much, much more recouped come April. So there you are. Rest and recuperation for all you Tauruses. Now, what about our air sign of Gemini? Gemini, Gemini, your grace at Arcana is the lovers. Mm, so you think on whenever you see the lovers come up, that's you, Gemini. So what are you going to be doing in March? Let's have a look. Oh, gardening. God, do you like gardening? I'm not really that keen on it myself, but then I'm not a Gemini. Gemini, you are going to be tending your garden, getting all ready for the months ahead. Um, you're going to be planting things, watching things come up and thinking, oh, you know, all that work I put in, it's all coming to fruition. Now look, the sunflowers come up or whatever it is, wherever you are in the world. But you're going to be taking great joy in your garden. I think that's lovely. Look at this squirrel. He's very happy. His garden's doing really well, and your garden's going to be doing really well in March. So there you go. There you go, Gemini. That's you. Now, what about Cancer? Cancer. Good old water sign. And Cancer, your greater arcana card is the chariot. So whenever you see the chariot, you think, oh, that's me. That's me and my chariot. Cancer, what are you going to be doing this March? Oh, bit of jousting. Did you know that? Did, did you know that you were going to be doing jousting in March? Well, there you go. So can you can you ride a horse? That's the name number one thing, because if you can't ride a horse, you're going to have to learn to ride a horse in March. And uh, if you can't do fencing, you're going to have to learn that as well. Uh, but it's quite a challenge. It's quite a challenge to take on. Um, yeah. Well, good luck with that. Let me know how you get on. Um, I'll be thinking of you. Um, I wouldn't want to do that. But then, you know, I'm not a cancer. So, uh, yes. Yes. OK, so that's what you're going to be doing in March. Hey, I'm quite surprised by that. Leo. Leo, another nice fire sign. This We know who else is a Leo, don't we? Over there in Montecito. She'll be having a dreadful March. So we're not talking to her. We're talking to you. You lovely Leos. And whenever you see the card of strength come up, Leo, that's you. So whenever you see that, you, you think on. That's you, Leo. Okay, so what do we got here? Queen of Cups. Oh, very nice. You, you're just going to be kicking back and drinking, really. That's not bad, is it? You're just going to be enjoying a nice glass of rosé in the evening. Just kicking up. I think that you deserve it. You deserve it. You, you've had a rough old couple of months and it's just time to 
put your feet up in the evening, have a nice glass of rosé and um, chill. That's a chill card, isn't it? Lovely. That's you. Good. Good old Leo. Have a chill. What about Virgo? But my husband's a Virgo. Virgo is the hermit. He's not really a hermit. Not really. But are you a hermit if you're a Virgo? Are you quite hermit-like? That's your Greater Arcana card. So let's have a little look. The Virgo. What are they going to be up to? All those lovely Virgos. Look at that. More drink. I mean, you're a load of lushes, aren't you? He's going to be drinking, which is really weird because I've never seen him drink. But um, he's going to start. Um, yes. So party time, I reckon. I think this tells me more about celebration. It's going to be something to celebrate. I don't know what. Could be a wedding. Could be a christening. Christening's quite likely with this card. But um, just something to celebrate and have a few beers or a few wines and um, enjoy the day. So that's going to happen in March for you. There you go. Nice, Virgo. And now we're coming on to Libra. Libra, your card is justice. You know, those scales of justice. So whenever you see justice come up in the greater arcana, that's you, Libra. So what's going to happen to you in March? Oh, OK. I reckon this is traction. Do, do you need to see an osteopath? Maybe you do. Maybe you don't know at the moment, but an osteopath or a chiropractor, and they're going to get you and they're going to pull you. They're going to pull all that spine and pull your hips and pull, pull, pull. And you're going to feel so much better. You're going to feel a foot taller at the end of it. But yeah, I reckon it's something to do with osteopathy. Yeah, maybe you didn't even know you needed it, but maybe you do. Maybe you do need it. So there you go, Libra. That's what you're going to be doing. And now we have Scorpio, best sign in the um in the whatever you call it, best sign anyway. It is because it's my sign and it's probably some of yours as well. I know it is some of yours. So Scorpio, lovely little Scorpios. Ugly little Scorpios, aren't we? Let's have a look. Don't, we're going to be dancing. All my Scorpio friends out there, we're going to be dancing. And not just dancing. I look at this as a bit like, um, you know, that gymnastics they do with the scarves and they wave the scarves around, don't they? Rhythmic gymnastics, I think they call it. So um, we have to buy some scarves and we've got to do that. But you've got to wear fancy leggings, definitely. You need a pair of fancy leggings. They always wear those, don't they? And um, yeah, a little bit of ribbon or scarf or something. Uh, we're going to be having a fine old time. So we'll need to find um, a gymnastics class that does this somewhere. Um, and if we can't find that, well, we just do it at the pub on a Saturday night, maybe. Um, but yes, we're going to be dancing. Dancing. Do like a dance. And then we have Sagittarius. Oh, sorry, Scorpio. Scorpio, just in case you didn't know, our greater arcana card is death. Always nice one, that, isn't it? But that's us. So whenever we see the death card, we know it's Scorpio for us. Very nice. So Sagittarius. You Sagittarians, you're a nice fire sign again. And your greater arcana card is temperance lovely even balance that temperance the person that pours that soothing balm over troubled waters that's you that's you okay so come on Sagittarius what are you going to be doing oh devil oh my god are you really you little devil I don't know quite what you're going to be doing but it's naughty isn't it it is naughty but it's nice it's naughty but it's nice and oh you enjoy it and tell us if you can but you know if you can't that's fair enough but let us know what devilish activities you're getting up to. You know, if it, if it's, um, yeah, okay, right. So that's you. We'll leave that one. Oh, enjoy that. And then we have Capricorn. And Capricorn, your, your um, greater arcana is the devil indeed. Wouldn't it have been funny if you'd have got the devil and you are the devil? <laughs> Let's see what good old Capricorns are going to be doing, that earthy sign. Yes. Oh, you're waiting for something. I don't know what you're waiting for. Only you know that. But it's going to come. It's on the horizon and it's coming towards you. Could be a parcel. Could be something nice. Could be an opportunity. But you've been waiting and waiting and waiting. And March, whatever you're waiting for, it's coming. There you are standing there in your braces and your trousers and everything. You look very masculine there, I must say. Yes. A bit too masculine you're looking there. Put a dress on. But yes, I think that you're waiting for something to happen here, something to come and it's on its way. 
there we are. So that was you, Capricorn. Aquarius. What about you, Aquarius? And your um, sign, your um, greater arcana card is the star. That's a beautiful card, isn't it? The star. That's you, Aquarius. You little stars. What are you going to be doing? Feeding chickens. Have you got chickens? Because if you haven't, you need to get some. It's a, a very sort of feeding animals. Maybe just feeding the birds. Maybe you've got a bird feeder in your garden and it's all looking a bit sad. You need to get some seed out there. Those poor birds. So, yes, you're going to be doing things that involve feeding birds. Maybe you'll buy yourself a bird table. I think that's a good idea. If you haven't got a bird table, buy one, invest in one, give you hours of entertainment that. So, yes, feeding birds, getting a bird table. There you go. That's you. That's what you're doing. Pisces, last one. And your um, sign, your um, greater arcana is the moon. Mm. So whenever you see the moon, Pisces, that's you. That's your greater arcana. OK, Pisces, what are you up to this March? Diving, Ooh, diving, diving. You'll be going swimming. You'll be up and down that pool, doing lengths of the pool. And if you can't dive, you're going to learn how to dive. Anything water related. There you go. But um, look, there's, is that a fish? I don't know whether that's a fish or a feather. I haven't got my glasses on. But yes, you're going to be swimming like a fish. Yes. I reckon that you're taking out a membership to a local pool, a local health club, and you'll be doing laps of the pool and you'll be improving your diving skills. There you go. That's everyone done. And um, I would like to know for you from you how correct I was. Um, I think the jousting might be a bit of a challenge in the rhythmic gymnastics. But um, apart from that, I'm sure they're all very doable. So let me know uh, what March brings for you and how correct I was, because I'm known for my accuracy with these things. You take care. Have a lovely March. And um, I'll be back tomorrow with something a little more serious, shall we say. Bye bye. <laughs>